What's up guys, welcome back to another Star Citizen ship tour video. We're going to be going over the Crusader Ares Starfighter Ion. This is going to be the laser cannon variant. This is a um, considered a heavy fighter. It has one fixed S7 laser cannon on it. By fixed, I mean it cannot be swapped out for anything else. Um, if you watch my uh, Inferno video, that, that has a ballistic Gatlin. Uh, they're pretty much identical, except for the fact that the uh, main cannon weapon is of a different type so we're going to jump in go get this thing powered on and everything kind of see how it goes acceleration is really good in these ships the um the one thing about these Ares series the inferno and the ion especially the ion prior to patch 3.16 i believe it was this was like the sniper ship this is what you would go out and just at long range just hit and just destroy with bounty missions. 3.16 saw this ship get a pretty significant nerf. Um, so we're just gonna, I haven't been in it since um, 3.15. So we'll see how it does on uh, some low end bounty stuff. But if it's anything like the Inferno, you don't have any auto tracking or anything like that. So you have to be like long range, you have to line up the pip and you have to just get as many successful shots as you can. With the lower DPS of this ship, it's actually probably more preferred because you don't actually run out of ammo like you do on the Inferno. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just like grab a bounty mission so that we can go ahead and see how this thing does in combat. You wanna be very careful whenever you're doing any sort of bounties in atmosphere with these. The maneuverability is not that great like it would be with like a medium or a, a light fighter. So, but since we're gonna try to go long range with this, we're gonna try to like, you know, line up with the horizon, essentially. Just so if we need to uh, evade, we can go up and uh, not crash into the surface, preferably. See right here, we have our target, which is about 23.7 kilometers away. We're gonna bring the uh, speed down a little bit we want to try to like go after just the neutral. We don't want to go after any of the wingmen. It might just take too long if you want to chain these together and close in some distance here, save some of our boost so that we can break out. When we get close enough, we're going to get about 7,000 or 7,000 meters from the target. I'm pretty sure for the pip to show up. So we're about halfway to our distance that we need to be. The trick here is just coming in slow and, you know, Try not to go as uh, very fast towards the target. Because once you get close enough, they're going to start coming at you. So there's target lock there. Got a missile. We're going to try to evade. And then break again. Just to line up. Try to get that pit lined up. We got to come in a little bit closer. The range on this uh, cannon used to be a lot better. Rate of fire is not that great. Those are all really good hits, but... Got something cool. See, we're, do we're doing hits right now on the pip. We're going to start backing up because he's coming straight at us. slow our throttle down a little bit since we're kind of right above and what's crazy is this is like not even a big ship this is like a, an aurora Shit. there you go so the optimal range is definitely closer than you'd want it to be all right, here's the loadout for the Ion. As you can see, it has that S7 cannon laser we were using as some missiles that you can use as well. Probably gonna be using the missiles for, you know, low end bounties as well. Um, but really, the uh, I wish that the S7 cannon was a little bit better on damage application. It has a higher alpha than the Inferno does, but really it doesn't matter if you can actually get on pip very often. And then it comes to the crossfire, everything else is pretty good. This, um, 
This ship costs about the same as the, uh, it costs exactly the same actually as the Inferno at 2.8 um, million. So it's uh, pretty decent. But I think if you're going to be looking for a ship that was, uh, a, that was a little bit better on damage application as far as like doing bounties and stuff like that, I think the Vanguard series is uh, probably a little bit, is probably better than these now. Um, you know, if you had to pick one of the two, uh, the Inferno is, has probably um, a better chance of actually taking stuff down than the Ion. It's really sad because the Ion used to be really, really good, and now it's just kind of um, mediocre, in my opinion. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's, uh, it, they're really cool ships, like I said, but I, just, I need them to be better. I need to be like even close to like what they used to be would be nice. But uh, yeah, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.